Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are in Rockport, Massachusetts, about an hour northeast of Boston on the Atlantic Ocean. We will be watching a primary conductor removal by our participating utility National Grid, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. So let's start this video by listening into the tailboard or job safety briefing to hear about the tasks that are going to be performed today. So that's the plan. We're going to de-energize the area by opening up a couple of uh, cutouts at two different locations. Okay, and then at this pole right here, 1275 and pole 1276, we're going to dead end the primary so we can remove this section between these two poles. And um, then our next step after that will be to move to pole 1836, which is right up here with a transformer pole and we have to make a tap over that primary and we have to lower the transformer cutout on that pole. Um, after we complete that work, we can re-energize the area and then we can come back here and do our secondary work at this section. So. Now as the crew signs in for their participation in the job safety briefing, note that we only reviewed a portion of it. For instance, they talked about hazards and mitigations. We only showed some of it for time constraint reasons on this particular video. Now as we heard, the first thing to do is to de-energize the line. We're seeing that here. This is down the road about a half a mile to a mile away, taking that fuse out to make sure this line cannot go live. Take the stick. You hear him asking for the hot stick. And now he's going to go up with this hot stick and pull that fuse, though it is open, in the open position, he's going to pull that fuse out. And this is interesting, they actually tie it to the pole. As he mentions, the temporary place to keep the fuse so they don't lose track of it later. Now that the line has been de-energized, we're back where we started and the guy in the bucket truck here is putting on his leathers and appropriate safety gloves for this work. Yep, thank you. Next, they need to test and make sure that this line is in fact de-energized. Then put up some blankets, line blankets and guts to protect the lines, both the primary and secondary. Here we are at the top of the pole, uh, putting in what is called a dead end. Next, they will attach a set of blocks to the top of this pole, which will be used to hold the line in place as they work to remove this primary conductor. And so here, removing the line sleeve so we can expose that primary wire. And here you can see him attaching the, the blocks. You can see it a little better now, how that's going to hold that line when they cut it. And you can see his uh, partner over here in the other bucket also attaching a set it, of blocks. Right? You got it there, I got it here. I'll cut my side. Cutting! And now that the line is held in place, they can actually cut it. Yep. And they can now use the rope to let that line all the way down to the ground. And now we'll go back to the other side of the pole and uh, take care of cutting the line there so we can attach it to the Ready? dead end that has Got been it. attached to that side of the pole. And you can see perhaps on the GoPro here that's what they're doing is attaching that line here to the uh, existing to the dead end they've just attached to the pole using a clamp and tightening that clamp down. And now that that dead end has been attached and the other line removed, they can actually remove the primary conductor here off the top of the pole. And now let's jump over to the next pole down. And here you're going to see them install a dead end on this side of the pole. Notice the line to the right on the screen here is down. That, that's what was taken down on the other pole. You see here clearly the dead end that he's applying to this side of the pole. This, uh, I got a set. Yep. 
And what he's referring to here is a set of blocks. Again, we saw this on the other pole also, where they're gonna use these blocks to hold the line in place as they cut it yep. from its conductor. And now we can see perhaps even a better view of that freshly cut line being uh, threaded into and then clamped into the dead end on the pole here. And now we could remove the blocks from this line now that it's been dead ended and remove the old conductor from the top of this pole also. Now it's a very productive morning for our national grid crew here in Massachusetts. Remember from the tailboard we're also doing work on this transformer pole. First lowering the transformer cutout and then adding a tap on this primary on the transformer pole. Here you'll see them estimating the amount of cable they need for this tap. You got enough, right? And they're going to strip out a uh, portion to rest on the conductor and use this wire to tie in or bind the tap to the conductor. See them twist this wire on. It's uh, very interesting, sometimes done with a hot stick. Watch your fingers. And he will now connect the tap wire into the line using a clamp, as we've seen before. Tighten that down. And next he will connect the top of that fuse or switch to this line. And if you're a sharp observer, you'll note that the door is closed. Remember, this line remains de-energized while we're doing this. And as he just said, the high side is now on, so his partner will work on the low side of the cutout here, connecting that actually into the transformer hanging on the pole there. And we're gonna get a nice close-up look here of that uh, connection into the cutout. And as he tightens down that uh, transformer wire, we are now done with this part of the work for this morning. And we go back to the original pole that we saw the work on. You can see that the line has is no longer exists, the primary from this side of the pole on. And as we pan back out to the beautiful waters of Gap Cove in Rockport, Massachusetts, you have now seen our TND How video on primary conductor removal performed by Participating Utility National Grid. This video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.